I'm going to talk about the three main reasons why most people are losing money in this market. Hey YouTube, welcome to All Coin Picks. I'm Stefan. I hope you all share the same joy of learning about crypto and that the content we share has helped you become a better trader, a solid investor, and that our coin analysis have simplified your research. I'll be talking today about why so many people get stuck in the cycle of losing money. So the fear of missing out comes from the idea that if you don't take part of that moment, you lost something inside you forever. When folks are so well informed and they have a plan that then that anxiety doesn't happen. Or at least it, for me, it's not as pronounced. This happens so much in crypto because all the traders or at least the majority of traders do their entire research through YouTube and Facebook. You know, investing in, in crypto has become more like a social media trend. So as the volume of the asset and as the price grew in value, you can, you can see the volume increased. But as more and more people talked about it in social media, there was just a moment, that one moment where most people couldn't resist not, not having a piece of the action. And then you, you see that parabolic movement. And that's right there that was all driven by FOMO. There was no charting that would have justified why that happened. So right after the FOMO, the only thing that can happen next is the pullback, also known as the dip. And it sure is worse since crypto has developed this huddle mentality, uh, hold on for dear life. But that is just the beginning. Traders are out there shorting Bitcoin and some folks want to want a better explanation why the market is crashing. The simplest answer is, is because it's profitable. The market growth is so fast that these pullbacks are, are so needed and they, and they commonly happen in waves and the moment it hurts the most, the last step of the cycle kicks in. FUD. The mainstream media bombards social media with misplaced information and just so much bad news. Ponzi schemes, scam ICOs, hackers, crypto is backed by nothing. Governments hate crypto, market manipulation, high fees, and the list can go on and on. And since no one fact checks their information, this stuff gets retweeted and reposted everywhere in social media. People panic and they start to do the worst. They sell right when you're actually supposed to be doing the exact opposite. Your portfolio is hurting, it's bleeding everywhere. You, you already sold, you might actually, it might actually start moving up and you're already fumbling again, which you already lost your position and you're just hurting it more and more. And there's just no end to it. You look for charts online and every single chart just shows exactly what that trader itself wants you to see, which is something to justify what they're, they think it's going to happen. There is no right or wrong. There is only so many people will get it right. The best advice I can give you is to not trade with your emotions. Do your own research and take the proper time to learn some trading strategies. It doesn't even need to be charting just trading strategies so that you can invest with confidence and, and maybe then again, you can come out ahead. I hope this advice will be useful and that you can remind yourself why you make the choices you make. This is such an important tip and it, and it had such a big impact in what I was making and the trades I was doing when I started in crypto. And if you like the videos, don't forget to like, and subscribe and I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.